Afternoon folks, got another soft drink review for you here. This is the Bundaberg Lemon Lime and Bitters. As per usual with your Bundaberg, you can get them in a four pack from most supermarkets in New Zealand for around $6.30 and they come in these 375ml bottles with, uh, with the classic Bundaberg rip cap, which you'll also find on Mac, Max Beers in New Zealand. You also pick these up in uh, quite a few cafes and um, bars singly uh, and the prices vary wildly. So what do they say is in it? Um, carbonated water, cane sugar, and there's a, a, quite a bit more than in Coke. You're looking at 11.8 grams per 100 milliliters, so I'm expecting this to be sweet, which is disappointing because the whole point of having um, lime and bitters in your lemonade is uh, that it's a little bit less sweet. So there's lime juice from concentrate, and then there's a bitters brew, which is water, sugar, spices, gentian root and yeast and I suspect that's the part of this which is actually brewed essentially what Bundaberg have done here is make their own bitters I've seen a couple of reviews and, and the people in it didn't seem to know what bitters was um, I'm no expert but uh, certainly in New Zealand the most uh, common type of bitter is your Angostura which I think comes from Trinidad and Tobago um, certainly I uh, rec remember it as a child um, as being what uh, mum and dad used to make pink gin, which was uh, gin, sometimes a bit of tonic water, and um, as much bitters as you wanted to turn it to whatever shade of pink you desired. It's a sort of brewed um, mix of aromatic spices and herbs. Um, some of them are, are sold as digestives. Uh, most of them these days are sold for uh, mixing with cocktails um, and and as an addition to to gin to make things like pink gin, so yeah, if you uh, if you weren't sure what bitters was, that's that's my take on it. Okay, so apart from the bitters and um, the fizzy water and sugar, and the lime juice, there's a bit of lemon juice again from concentrate, citric acid, ascorbic acid, flavour which will be artificial flavour, colours. And it's good to see that after the um, creaming soda, which had four artificial colours in it, this has got sweet um, purple sweet potato and lycopene, which are both natural colours, so that's, uh, that's encouraging. But it does have a couple of preservatives in it, sulphur dioxide, 220, and sodium benzenate, 211, which seems to be in most of the Bundaberg drinks. So they make uh, quite a bit of a fuss, as usual, that it's um, brewed or craft brewed, as you see here on the label, um, craft, craft Brewing's um, the absolute flavour of the day and uh, Bundaberg have leapt on. So they've got craft brewed soft drinks, which, which uh, I think causes a bit of merriment amongst some of the craft beer brewers, but there you go. And yeah, I, as, as far as I can tell, what's actually brewed is the, um, is the bitters mixture. So... So there you go. It's, I'm interested to try this because it's it's quite a common drink in New Zealand, certainly um, in a in a bar or a club. If you're not not driving, or if you're uh, uh, yeah, if you're not driving, or just if you're um, not drinking for some reason, um, you know, women might be pregnant. Some people, of course, just don't drink. Um, so the the classic mix is lemonade, dash of roses, lime juice. And, and a bit of bitters, and you can dress it up to look like a cocktail. So if you don't want people to know that you're not drinking anything alcoholic, you can have one of these. There, it's also reasonably common to have um, tonic and bitters with either a bit of lemon and lime or, um, or some sort of garnish and fancy cocktail umbrella, again, if you want to make it look fancy. I have seen a couple of reviews of this, which were... Um, interesting because apart from the fact that they didn't know what bitters was um, one of the reviews said it was the worst soft drink they'd ever tried in their life it was they called it a soda so I'm presuming that that was an American review whereas the other review reviewer really enjoyed it and said it was um, it was yet another one of the fantastic Bundaberg soft drinks so interesting to see as with most of the Bundaberg drinks it does say invert the bottle before opening up the top here I inverted this carefully but Honestly, it looks completely crystal clear, so unless uh, unless their mixing is um, pretty haphazard, I honestly can't see why you'd need to. But uh, 
There you go. So what do they say it's like? They reckon it's a unique combination of brewed aromatic spices and select herbs blended with lemon and lime juices to create the premium taste that's both refreshing and invigorating. So, let's see if we are refreshed and invigorated. Safely negotiated the, the dangerous, or sometimes dangerous, tear tab. So, pretty typical soft drink. No head to speak of. This is pretty clear. And if that was a pink gin, it would be, there'd be just a faint splash of bitters in that. No one would have gone over the top. And, uh, whoo, it's, um, it's, it does have an unusual and um, quite a potent smell. There's, there's the lemon and the lime there. And there's, there's definitely another, another, Smell, which I guess is the gentian root from their uh, their bitters. It's interesting that because they've got lemon juice and lime juice in this, not something like your roses lime, which is a sweetened lime juice, it is quite acidic, but it's a little bit like Coke, which has got a lot of acid in it, and also a lot of sugar and this is the same it's got a lot of sugar and a lot of acid so it's quite a powerful powerful mixture it's actually not bad it's I prefer the taste of uh, the Angostura bitters I like quite a bit of bitters and I, I tend to drink tonic with uh, with bitters if I was having something like this rather than um, this which is much more approximating your lemonade with uh, with lime and bitters, but this is this is not bad. I'm definitely coming down somewhere in the middle. It's definitely not the worst soft drink I've tried by a long stretch, but it's if it's meant to appeal to to adults, particularly someone who's used to beer or wine, it's way too sweet. Um, you'd if you drank this most of the evening, you'd be you'd be looking out for uh, something else to to just have have something that wasn't wasn't as sweet and uh, I suspect it would uh, mean that you'd end up eating a lot of whatever was on the bar be it chips peanuts or some other snack so final conclusions if you like lemon lime and bitters this would definitely be worth a go if you if you see it somewhere and there's nothing else but uh, Fanta lemonade and uh, other soft drinks which you don't really fancy, definitely give it a try. If you're um, a bit fussy the way you get the barman to make up your lemon lime and bitters, then I suspect unless you're extremely lucky, you're unlikely to think that this is uh, God's gift to lemon lime and bitters. But uh, yeah, well worth a try. I'd I'd give it uh, I'd give it a, a 14 out of 20. So, there you go. Interesting drink. Interesting indeed. And um, oh, it's always good to see people trying something a little bit new and different. And this is definitely a little bit different. Oh well, enjoy what you're drinking and have a good one. Cheers.